Hey there, welcome to My Green Pets. I'm William Green. I'm just going to do a short update today on my collection. You can see that Cattleya Rex season is nearing its peak, actually. Um, at some point, they will have uh, a few more spikes all bloomed out. But just wanted to show you what we've got today. So, this plant is uh, Koyur, means star, and flowers are looking nice. I, I'm thinking I'm going to take them to judging today, but I have a feeling, well, who knows? We might get lucky. And Koyur has three more buds on the way, so that plant is looking great. Next we have Urku. This is a plant that is actually mounted. It was mounted years ago and then I just stuck the mount in a pot and it's actually done very well like that. So you can see Urku's flowers are not quite as nice. They're a little lopsided. The tube is open and the dorsal leans quite far back so probably not going to get any awards on Orku but still a very nice plant and the flowers do have nice big wide petals even if the dorsals are leaned all the way back and then uh, just yesterday, Mayu popped open. Mayu is the awarded clone. Got an HCC last year from the American Orchid Society. And not completely open yet, but um, I think Koyor's flowers look at least as good as these. So, the thing is, you can see how. When the flowers are just open, I mean these are literally open one day, you can see that the dorsal sepals are, you know, they stand almost straight up, but then over the next few days they will lean back. And it's interesting because a flower could, a flower that's awarded on one day might not be awarded three days later just because of the way that they open and spread, so. Anyway, that's Mayu, and Mayu's got those three. It's got two more getting ready to open here, and then it's got another sheath down here with some buds in it, and those won't bloom. By the time these bloom, um, these, will be, these will be gone, so unfortunately they won't all bloom out at the same time. This one's... A first time bloomer, this will be Puyu, means cloud, and uh, Puyu looks to have three buds in that sheath. And then this little guy down here, this is Waida, Waida means wind, you can see the buds in Waida's sheath there, and then he's got another sheath here, so those will probably bloom a few weeks apart. And then Inti, the sun. Inti is so far my favorite of all these Rex siblings. Really nice big full flowers. And fingers crossed that Inti will be in fresh bloom for the May judging. Second weekend in May is when hopefully the flowers will still be... I, I expect that these flowers will start opening right at the beginning of May. Um, I can't quite see the buds in there yet, but I, I'm, I'm hoping it will hold off and be able to take it to judging on uh, in the second week of May. And really, really hope we could get at least three flowers. And uh, last year it had four be wonderful to get an award on that. 
And that's pretty much all I want to show you today. Just a quick update on the Calyrexes. They are really looking nice at this moment. Right at this time of day, the sunlight is coming in and just lighting them all up. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> Again, when I when I got those when I got these plants eight years ago, they looked like this. And it's taken many, many years of trial and error to get them to this point. But aren't they worth it? Absolutely wonderful. Love them. They do have a fragrance. This the, Last year I was describing it more as rose, but as I smelled it a little bit more today, I was thinking, it actually, it actually reminds me of vanilla. It smells like vanilla to me. It's not a strong fragrance. You have to have your nose right up here next to the flower to smell it. But it's there. It's definitely noticeable and... It's, it's lovely. Wish it was stronger, but it's, it's still lovely. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by. I'm William Green. These are my green pets, and we'll see you next time. Bye.